Everybody knows that every man needs to get recharged from time to time. The Ugandan Judiciary and Internal Affairs also recognized this. So they allowed the charged passenger flyer to London to recharge his batteries after a stressful six months since he lost the general elections. Dr. Kiza Besije lost the February 18th election to President Yuri Museveni, but he went ahead to swear himself in as president and act deemed treasonous by the state. He was charged with treason, which carries a death sentence. After doing some weeks on remand and making several trips to the courts, Dr. Besije apparently realized that he needed to recharge his batteries as he embarks on his defiance campaign. So he applied to the authorities to allow him travel abroad and despite being on bail for the biggest crime on Uganda's law books, he was allowed to go. After flying into the loving arms of his London-based wife, who is director of Oxfam, engineer Winfred Karangwa Vyanyima, Besije went on to address his fans in the UK. Although she doesn't hold any post in the FDC party, engineer Winnie was the one who called Besije to make his address to the audience. The energized Besije, after being showered with words of admiration from his wife, went ahead to deliver his message to his supporters. Engineer Winnie said she does not sympathize with Besije because he is a fighter who does not need sympathies and is ready to take more blows. But she appealed to their supporters not to make her husband feel that he is struggling alone. Besije has stood four times for president. The first time was in 2001 and he sneaked out of the country into self-imposed exile. After four years in exile, he decided to return to Uganda and contest for the 2006 elections. He has since avoided going to exile again. It is highly likely that he will return to Uganda after getting refreshed in London.